Yeah, I, like I said, I like you got like you got on Tumblr last week. Let's go. Like this guy gotta go. Um, because we can talk, we can talk to you on the face about the the, the challenge and the touch the challenge and the touchdown. It came in the first half where, where you where you leave your timeouts on the board when you don't take the timeouts in the right in the right position, and then you just and then you call a timeout with 12 seconds left, meaning you got kicked the field. Even after you kick the field goal, you still got to kick the ball off again. It's it's little like stuff take it like down that. Three seconds. We, yeah, take it down to five seconds and kick the field goal. Then the half over, you don't got rubber against my injury in the kicker. It's little stuff like that where I know that he's not there. Is he's not there because because you because you, you don't take a time beforehand, and then when the play over, you run down and take a time on twelve seconds when you could have. It's stuff like that, and I like I guess I don't gotta go too much in the goddamn chance of touchdown. It's no way like that. Like that's that's no practice. But he was like just it, trying to call a timeout. Can you use? Bullshit! So, and, I read his lips. And, and that's the thing, bullshit! That's the thing. I read his lips. And why? And why not just? <laughs> and why not just come out and say? That's bullshit. I'm out. Like, why did you call, call a timeout? Say yeah, I made a mistake. Why not just come out and say Hell I made a no. mistake? Yo. Hell no. We got that sound bite. Let's listen to it real quick. Then we can respond. Dude, that challenge play like Mitch on fourth and two. What did you see on okay. the, uh, the Marcus Robinson touchdown? You tried to challenge it, but they didn't allow him to. Yeah, I was kind of looking. Just, there's more about getting a timeout. You know, I, I thought maybe, maybe he stepped out of bounds, but I know they look at that. But really, what it was was just getting organized for the for the two point play call. You know, they don't, they they go fast in those now. They don't give you time really. And you know, I think I did. We all did, but I really wanted to make sure we had the right call. So that's a way to get a timeout right there from 20 yards away. Why can't you just come out and say I made a mistake? I got I let them I let I let the game get to me. It was you know, and then we can move on. But now you're gonna come out and double down and say you want to get a timeout. Okay, just take the fucking time out. This guy, yo, this guy's terrible. This nigga, but he he he, he said he vehemently said, yo, did he step out of bounds? <laughs> He pretty Yo, did he good. step out of bounds? <laughs> that was his first reaction. Did he step out of bounds? Exactly. That's what's initial. <laughs> and then they gonna say, "I know they trying to touchdown play." No, you don't know. You have no idea. You had no uh, idea. He's not there on Sundays. He's not there on Sundays, yo. But if if I need it, the bar. And I've been on this fire hub on chain for years now. But I, I feel like I got all my evidence I needed. Like this guy got. It. <laughs> like, could you imagine? Could you imagine if that was a playoff game and you need and it what and you needed your challenge late in the game or you needed that timeout late in the fourth quarter? Because you, because you, you, you know, you down by two and you need to kick a field goal and you got rushed the field goal team instead of having that timeout to call time and get everything set up. And that's what I think about. I think about when it's gonna hurt us. Yeah, he was capped because he's saying he did that to get a timeout and to get the refs' attention. Like, mind you, after you score a touchdown, you could have called a timeout immediately. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or, or as soon as you see them line up just to see what packages they're in, you call a timeout. I mean, I saw that all throughout every Sunday of that I've watched each week this, this year, like when like fourth down, like I'll, you'll come out, I'll see your set. Or we call a timeout. Mm -hmm. We got that. We got that drop on you now, pretty much. Why did you need to do any of that? You could have just used the timeout. Like it's full of shit. And, and yeah. the fact that he'll say some shit like that and people will eat it up and like, believe it blows me, man. But y'all got it. Like, right. and that's, and the fact that he don't get no type of rebuttal questions from that, like the room just let it go. Like yeah. shout out oh. to Cordell Woodland who even asked the question. Um, yep. But yep. it like, why did it even take that long? That should have been the first question they came out and asked him. I wouldn't need to know that off the rip. Why I, did I you do? You know the rules, Sean Harbaugh. <laughs> do, you, do you know the rules? Like, that's <laughs> are you a fan or are you a coach? Right. I thought a fan threw something and on a the casual fan. Uh, I thought a fan threw something on the field. Yeah, I was shocked. I was like, like yo, what is he doing? So, so <laughs> the announcers is, what, what, pisses me, what pisses me off about it is no. I'm so into the game. I'm like, oh shit, we might they might review it. And I'm thinking, like, this motherfucker didn't challenge a touchdown play. He, <laughs> he, he got me thinking, looking at the game wrong now. Darryl Johnson was like, hey, you can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing? Like, I, think, do I know you can't do that, score, but because he challenged, I'm like, all right, yeah, maybe coach. Yeah, yeah, Darryl Johnson was going to quit. He was like, yo, you can't do that. Now he got me being a bad fan because I know he can't do that. He got Michigan ties, right? Yeah, one brother cheating, Chris one brother Webber. don't know, hey, know nothing about football. You said Chris, Chris Webber, Jim Harbaugh, nigga. He's on, his, he's on his Chris Webber shit. He's on his gym. Losing timeouts and shit. <laughs> Losing timeouts and, and shit. One possession game. By any means necessary. <laughs> Losing timeouts and shit. One possession, like I said, I, like, it, 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 like I said, before the first half, you don't take a timeout to give yourself a better score opportunity. You play for three. You conservative in some games. You you aggressive in some games. You like it's just he's just a, he's just not a good coach. What about? 
What about the fourth and one? We thought they could have just went for it and sit. I, and I sit think so. I mean, I, the, the way the defense is playing with eight minutes left in the that, game, Nick? you get the fourth one, I think you go for it and end the game. I, you had you thought he should have punted on that fourth and one, Nick? Late uh, in the game? I usually I usually like to trust my, my offense, trust my quarterback, and live and die with the results. But, you know, I, it's, it's hard to criticize or critique in a win. But yeah. win or loss, I want to trust my guys. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Keep, keep it. I want to, I don't want to get them the ball. Like they literally Wait, just the defense almost, was like, playing? yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I thought we were going to lose. The drive no. before Puka Nakua dropped the ball and DeMarcus dropped. Like they was going to go and drive my, and get some points. Right. And that's my thing. It don't have to that's be what, that I way every you. single game. This game is where you, game. you fill it the game. Next game, the defense playing well. He's going to go for it next week when he's not supposed to. He's going to go for it. You, you already know what's going to happen. Not it's going to be fourth for one on our own 45 in the fourth quarter. Of Jacksonville, we up by two. I mean, we up by a field goal. He, this dumbass is going to go for it and give Jacksonville the ball back. And it's going to happen. We've seen this play out over and over again. It's and uh, Keith, Keith brought up a good point about like what the media was asking and whatnot. But we watched that whole press conference looking for that specific quote. You know, it was a 20, 22 minute press conference. That shit came in like minute 20 and 30 seconds. Wait. Like, I'm talking about they asked the silliest of questions like, um, Devin Duvernay went down. Uh, uh, you chose to put Tyler Wallace in the game. What, what was, what went behind that? And then I'm just looking like <laughs> the death chart, motherfucker. And I, Lamar, right. Lamar, Lamar saved them again. That's all it is. If the Ravens lose that game, I think it's a bigger issue. Than what we are making it, but I think it should be a bigger issue even with the win because now, like you said earlier, you went in in spite of him. Lamar, Lamar saving, Lamar saving him. Lamar keeps saving him over and over again from these bad coaching decisions. It's weekly that I gotta come on the show every single week and say John Harbaugh made a bad coaching decision, and it was it was in front of like you said, everybody saw it yesterday. Everybody was able to see that bullshit yesterday. A lot of people don't watch Ravens games um, to see you know what's going on, but every literally everybody can see what happened. Everybody see it, but don't nobody hold them accountable. And that go to what Nick say. And that's why they call people like us freelancers, because you're not going to get a media pass if you're going to go in there and stir something up, ask questions that people really want to know. Like like Nick just said, he he really had to thumb through that video just to find that. That should have been within the first five minutes of that the should have been the first question. The first question. Why did you throw it? I don't. Why did you throw the flag, John? What was like, your purpose of throwing the flag? Do you that's know irresponsible, the irresponsible journalism <laughs> to me, to be honest. But y'all don't wait that long to ask him that. Niggas asking you, you about the know the goddamn rules. Winning is the best deodorant. That's yeah. all it is. That's all it is. Oh, we lost, man. It would have been. It would have been all hell. Winning is the man. best deodorant. But I, but, the, and, but and, and, and that's and, the thing. People want to forgive. I want him fired still. Even I don't care if the Ravens win the Super Bowl. I do not want him to come back as a coach. I'm done with y'all. Dinosaur. And, it, and if we if we would have lost, we would have been looking at it as this is our fourth loss in which we lost a fourth yep. quarter lead, and our fourth loss in which we lost in a similar fashion. Yep. I don't mind losing. I do mind losing the same exact way every single time. We got to stop. Yo, I thought, I thought somebody we didn't lose. So to what you, yeah, I saw somebody respond to what you tweeted yesterday about John when he was screaming in the camera. And they was like, yo, without John, we 13 and 0. And they right. Like, no, no. Every game we lost has come down to a decision that John Harbaugh made. Okay. Y'all remember the Colts game? I was there. I was there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. On the field, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I was there. You remember that shit? Uh, Pittsburgh fourth and two. What other the game? The Browns game. Like th- there was some, th- there was some questionable shit in the Browns game too. <clears throat> Listen, man, we just hope that it doesn't hinder us in the playoffs and at the wrong moment. Because in the playoffs, uh, the Browns coaching is fourteen the, points going into yeah. the fourth. Listen, man, the playoffs is where you know you have two evenly matched teams. What what? What's the difference in those games is turnovers and execution and coaching. Like, what happens if you don't have a timeout in that situation? Do, do, I'm pretty sure. What, so, if they have a timeout and it's like eight seconds, eight, ten seconds left or something, like, and, they, and it's a 10 second runoff and you don't get a chance to get the ball back or something. It's, you got to think about stuff like that. To, to not use your timeouts in the first half and then to be careless with it. Exactly. In the second half, just don't be making sense to me, but. 